So the collapse of the Middleton Empire. This obviously took place in late 2023, but I feel like we should do a deep dive into this because this could be correlated with the breakdown of Kate Middleton and Prince William. Hey guys, it's Rob Morley. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, send a super thanks if you guys wish to. There's a dollar sign there. You can send what you want. And let's get into this and really discuss Carol and Michael Middleton and how their empire crumbled, how they became bankrupt as well, and how this is directly correlated and interrelated with the relationship that is William and Kate. Early this summer, Carol and Michael Middleton were forced to sell off their party supplies firm, Party Pieces after a racked up debt of 2.6 million, leaving dozens of small businesses out of pocket. Dozens. Meanwhile, the baby of the clan, serial entrepreneur James Middleton, who we know has some kind of relationship with the Daily Mail, even with Dan Wooten, is facing fresh business woes after it was reported the assets on his latest venture, Ella and Co, have also plummeted. Last year, fresh from the collapse of his novelty marshmallow fan, Boomf, which also collapsed, by the way, James launched a dog food company dedicated to the happiness and well-being of dogs. The business was inspired by his beloved dog, Spaniel Ella, whom James has credited both with saving his life. After helping him during his darkest days of depression and introducing him to his wife, sadly his dog has passed away, and now it seems her namesake company may be ailing too, as it's recently been reported that Ella and Co's assets are down to just 92,000, compared to nearly 400,000 the previous year. Wow. It's a, it's a position James is fairly familiar with by now. Ella and Co is the fifth venture for the 36 year old whose friends have always fancied himself as the next Richard Branson. When Boomf collapsed last year, it had accumulated trading losses of almost 2 million guys. 2 million. So far, James appears to be taking this latest setback in his stride. Last week, he took to Instagram to announce he was changing the name of the company to James and Ella. Continuously changing after loss of profits, guys, is not good news at all. So it's not just Carol and Michael Middleton, but also James Middleton has just had continued failing, failing businesses. Like her parents and brothers, Pippa also has an entrepreneurial streak and her fingerprints are all over the tasteful products on offer at the Buckleberry Gift and Farm Shop, where you can pick up cute bags, eco-friendly toys and healthy cookbooks. It said Carol was instrumental in getting the venture off the ground and actively encouraged the couple to launch the online shop at home. However, things are going less smoothly as Pippa and James are currently struggling with some of the ambitious renovations planned for their 15 million Berkshire house. Their proposal to build a mammoth swimming pool and tennis court topped with AstroTurf would require building over an old wall. However, they are struggling to afford it. Then of course, there's the investigation Pippa's father-in-law, David Matthews, is currently embroiled in. Five years after being accused of the historic R-word of a 16-year-old girl between 1998 and 1999 in Paris, I did not know this, and the Caribbean island of St. Bart's, where he owns a luxury hotel, Eden Rock, it's been revealed detectives at the Child Protection Unit in Paris have begun another inquiry, which now running in tandem with the current one. Wow. May as well have cause to worry about her own parents too. The closure of party pieces has come as a blow to the Middletons and their empire, especially Carol, who friends say is desperately sad to see the business sold off in this way. It was snapped up by former children's entertainer James Sinclair, who calls himself the millionaire clown for 180000 but crucially the Essex-based entrepreneur has not taken on any of the company's debts, the multiple debts that the Middletons caused. Many of those who have been left out of pocket are small family-owned businesses because of the Middleton empire, including Mohammed Paradis, owner of the helium supply, Sultani Gas, who said the 20000 he is owed from the Middletons was equivalent to a year's profit. Carol famously started the business from a kitchen table in the 1990s when she was six months pregnant with James, after struggling to find some fun paper plans for daughter Kate's fifth birthday. Surprised by the lack of options, she obviously decided to bring her own option, but unfortunately it just really has died down after the 1990s. Whilst the Middleton's fortune has always been shrouded in an air of mystery, the couple has relatively humble beginnings. However, it does seem that oh, they have been living amongst their means when it comes to agencies, portfolios of properties, and the 4.7 Chelsea and 4.7 million Chelsea flat. The company's closure has come to a surprise to many. As recently as April, the firm said it was looking to secure additional investment to support the next phase of its growth plans but those investment plans never actually came and Carol took a back seat as they were drowning in loads of debt. It's all rather awkward when you consider these are the in-laws of the future king. It definitely doesn't reflect well on the royals, but Kate will mostly just be worried about her mother as the two have always been incredibly close, says one 
one well-placed source. Carol will be working hard to put this right. It's sad be said before party pieces fell into admin. Carol was calling those who were owed money from her personal mobile, desperately apologizing, promising that debt would be repaid, but it never took place. Unfortunately, the admin's report made it clear that it is highly unlikely that any of these organizations would receive any of the money that they are owed, and they are still suffering to this day. And bear in mind, this article I'm reading to you came out last year. It seems the party is well and truly over for Carol Michael, dead. It's unlikely the deal will be launched any new business ventures. Indeed, before party pieces went into admin, they revealed they were keen to devote more time to family gardening and travel. As for James, a serial entrepreneur is not going anywhere. He's full of energy and he's always got something on the go, but unfortunately, whatever he has on the go continues to fail and his businesses are just simply not working. So my ring light has died, and annoyingly, so I'm gonna just have to just use my phone right now. So annoying because the battery's gone. But if we assess the Middleton Empire, I just spoke to you guys about how, you know, William and Kate had been in blows prior to her surgery in regards to financial woes, we know that divorce or marriage issues are heavily related to anything financially. Now, that particular article detailed how Middleton's entire family, the empire crumbled, they have not been that great, they're not making money, they owe debt creditors 2.6 million, they, several businesses have suffered because of Carol and Jane Middleton and Michael Middleton and Pippa, all four of them in the family have failed when it comes to their businesses. Probably putting stress on Kate, Kate somewhat defending them. William, you know, the next king doesn't have time for an entire family's failed businesses and therefore this caused stresses and arguments amongst Kate and William and could have expedited issues and stress that could have related to going to the hospital. I'm not saying it's a direct causational link, but I'm saying there's a positive correlation potentially here and we need to do a deep dive into the Middleton family business empire and the shit that they were basically doing and the loss of profits, how many lives they have, you know, affected. The fact that, you know, Kate's mother just less than a year ago was phoning people from a personal mobile apologizing for the fact that 20 to 50,000 in loans and money and equ equates to a year's profits was all gone and they couldn't repay them back is nothing short of embarrassing and just extremely sad for these people who are suffering. I don't think we've really discussed how people are directly suffering because of the Milton and the fact that they have continued failed businesses. Their empire had not gone anywhere. you think it would be because Kate is linked to William and that PR would have done huge amounts. For goodness sake, the Photoshop editing mess, it boosted Adobe Photoshop sales in the millions. She's racketed up so many, you know, her following is huge now. So why has none of this helped the militant empire? It's crumbled, financially has not worked, in debt, living amongst their means, and this has poured into the relationship of William and Kate. And this is why I wanted to look at it in terms of a deep dive, because I think it is directly related to their relationship and how it could have expedited as an issue, because of course, you know, perhaps they desperately needed money via Kate, via William, via the family, who knows? Anyway, subscribe to the channel, click that button guys, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. I think it's important to do deep dives and look at the crumbling Milton empire. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.